Hey Sagittarius, it's me Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to do a weekly video for, it's going to be uh, Monday the 29th until April 4th, which is Sunday. So it's going to be the 29th to the 4th. Okay, it's going to be a week reading of what's going to happen for you guys. You know, maybe the first week going into April, ending into March. So I'm going to do the past, the present, the future for you guys. At the, uh, I'm going to do the past, what well, like, just happened for you guys in the past. So it could be anything from this you know, in March or last month, okay, and then the present moment, which is going to be like this, you know, going into this week that I'm talking about, and then the near future, which could be after ending this week, okay, so make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, uh, follow my Instagram, Sagittarius underscore soul underscore tarot, um, as well as my Facebook page, tarot with a capital T, and, and then more with a capital M. I'm also going to do, um, so let me know down below like comments like what you guys would like more videos of because I'm wanting to do more weekly videos for all the signs here so let me know down below okay so I'm gonna start off with a fortune card for you guys a fortune and I'll get a moonology card I'll get like three cards okay so I want to do a moonology I'm gonna do psychic tarot and I'm gonna do this fortune so let's see let's start in the week for you guys what's gonna happen Monday for the to the fourth Okay, goals. So you guys are focusing on your goals this coming week, okay? You're focusing on money, your personal goals you're wanting to achieve. Let's go ahead and see how that works out for you with the moonology here. For Sagittarius. Okay, the answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. So maybe the answers you needed about a job are coming soon. So maybe if you put in applications for a new job, that's you're going to be getting answers, getting that call back soon, okay? Or you're just getting answers in regards to your goals, okay? Maybe you've done a lot of prayers about it, and it's like you're starting to get more answers. So let's see. Okay, deception and envy. So you could feel this coming week as if people are kind of playing you causing drama and I feel like people are trying to mess with your spiritual strength as well or you're trying to focus on your spiritual strength and not let people get to you but there's a sense of feeling kind of weighed down maybe there's a lot of also feeling like you're deceiving yourself a little bit too because you're not getting these answers yet and you're almost putting yourself down because you have so many goals okay and you guys are almost putting yourself down so let's go ahead and get some love advice for this coming week what's going on for Sag what can they expect Okay, we got releasing an X. So you guys got to release somebody. And I hate to say it, but you need to. Deception in the reverse. Okay, you need to be more honest this week. Or maybe not be like, be more true to yourself is what I'm seeing. Let's get one more. Why do these cards not want to come out? One more for Sag. Okay, I'll just do the bottom. On the bottom, you got calling in your soulmate. So once you release this person and be more honest with other people about releasing something and open up to people, I feel like you are going to be calling in your soulmate. You are going to be getting a soulmate here soon. Okay, let's go ahead and get Zodiac cards. See who could be affecting or in Sagittarius' energy a lot this coming week. Who could be in their energy a lot? Okay, so there's Sun Sign. Could be Libra. I got Cancer. I got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini on the bottom. Okay, so that's who could be in your guys' energy. All right. Let's go ahead, guys, and get into the past what is going on for you guys or what happened in the past. For Sad, just get three shuffles about what happened. Oh, Sorry, my son's very fussy, so don't mind that in the background. What's going on with your tablet, babe? Looks like it's fine. What's going on? It keeps doing that. I'm sorry. Why does it keep doing that? It just doesn't that. Okay. So what's going on in the past? Okay, you got the justice here. Five of wands and the five of pentacles reverse. So I feel like there's a person that you're de definitely dealing with a lot of people here. A lot of drama in the past. Okay, a lot of conflict. And you're dealing with where you're trying to have balance with yourself. But there's this person that just doesn't want to stay away. A person with the five of pentacles reverse. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. This person just keeps coming back around. 
to cause conflict or drama and you're just trying to balance your life together. I feel like you're just trying to have balance and this person keeps coming back around, okay? Maybe trying to make things fair, make balance with you, but all it's causing is more conflict, okay? So that's what I overall get. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let me get three shuffles. Get two more here. I feel like you're trying to have balance with yourself in the past. You're just trying to have things be fair, okay? Or you're trying to make things fair for everybody and it's like nobody's happy. Okay, I'm getting the sense that you're trying to make everybody happy, trying to feel like you're giving everybody their fair chance in regards to family, friends. And it's like nobody's happy. Everybody's just still bickering and fighting. It's like, gosh, I can't make anybody happy. You know, and there's just somebody that just doesn't want to stay away. Okay? Let's get the justice here. But I feel like Sagittarius in the past, you're trying to make everybody happy. Trying to make things fair to everybody, trying to be equal. You know? With the high priestess. And the Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, you didn't want people to worry about anything. You you know, you wanted... I feel like you're being very honest with people. You weren't keeping any secrets. You're being very intuitive, honest. You feel like the right thing to do is to be honest and be fair to people. You just wanted things to be fair. Okay? You didn't want anybody stressed. You didn't want to stress about things. You just wanted to be happy and have balance and, you know, everything to be, like, going good. You didn't want any... But it's like all that came into your life in the past was just drama and conflict. And it's like... You were just trying not to worry about anything. And it's like these people just, no matter what you did, nobody was happy. Everybody had to bicker and fight about something. So let's get the five of wands. Two of pentacles and the emperor reverse. There's a lot of people just angry and mad at you. I don't even know why. There's a lot of people just feeling like there was just, you know, a lot of back and forth. Okay, people maybe were arguing with you back and forth, very mad in the past. A lot of conflict. I feel like there's a lot of people just mad and angry at you. Okay. Or people fighting for you as well. Let's get the Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. There's somebody still wanting to work on this. The Four of Swords reversed, yeah. Somebody's still like not wanting to leave you in the past because they're still wanting to focus on this and, and work on this. They want, they have the de determination to make this work and work on it. And they're doing a lot of thinking about you and making sure that they didn't leave. Okay, a lot of people, maybe this person dreamed about you a lot. They really wanted things to be working out for you guys. Let's see what zodiac signs this person could have been. And then I'm going to get currently what's going on. Okay, so there's sun sign. Could have been Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and then we have air. So definitely we have all air here. So you definitely could have been dealing with an air sign in the past, okay? But this person wanted things to... They thought about you a lot and they wanted to work on things, all right? Let's go ahead and see what's currently going on for Sag. Get two more shuffles. See what's currently going on and then we'll do the near future which could be anywhere from that week the week i'm talking about to you know next week or in april could happen as well i'm gonna get one more shuffle i don't know if i just lost track if i counted to three so i'm gonna just do one more shuffle all right okay guys let's go ahead and get this Ooh, okay we've got the strength currently three of cups and the eight of swords Okay, so you're in a stuck situation. You could be dealing with two other people. Yeah, it sounds like Sag. Okay, but you guys are, you know, kind of holding back to something. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Got water and air here. But there's a sense where you're kind of stuck in your head, but there is a lot of you. Maybe you're doing a lot of drinking currently, or you guys are doing a lot of partying, celebrating with people, or kind of being with other people. And there's a lot of holding back. Like, you're scared to kind of give in. Or you're scared to, like, lose your spiritual strength, or your inner strength. Okay, and it's like you're almost kind of overwhelmed and stuck what to do. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords here, so that's never a good energy. It's always just feeling like in fear, anxieties, worries. Okay, you feel stuck. Let's get the strength here currently for Sag. Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords reverse. Yeah, you realize in order to have your happiness, they, yeah, we had Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. So in order to find your happiness, you had to let something go, and you see something more clearly here. That you need to walk away from something in order to get your inner strength and happiness. Okay? It's like you're still trying to be strong. Okay? And you know, like, also pride, too. Like, your confidence. Like, you feel more confident to walk away from something. Because you just don't see it like you once did. You used to see a lot of confusion with the situation. I feel like this is love-related. And you guys realize, like, you know what? I need to just be happy. I want to be single. And I just don't need this. So, it's either you're emotionally detaching or you're just kind of walking away in general. So... I do see the Three of Cups. You are wanting to, you know, be maybe... I don't really know if you guys want to be, like, in a relationship currently. You guys are just kind of playing the field with other people, maybe. Let's see the Three of Cups. 
Yeah, the King of Pentacles reverse and the Empress. So I feel like you are wanting to find this person to love. Okay, or you're being very, you know, nurturing to people around you. But you still haven't really found something stable yet. Okay, like maybe you're the person that you're wanting to find hasn't came yet. Or it's like you feel as if they're not going to come around and you're just trying to, you know, you know, love people and put love into the situation. And there's a lot of feeling like you're stuck. Maybe you're wanting a relationship with somebody and it just, it's just not going the way you want it to. The sun in reverse. I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of unhappy right now how things are going. You're trying to be nurturing and caring to other people. But it's like you're stuck in your head emo uh, mentally and emotionally. Maybe stuck in your feelings too. Okay, let's get the Eight of Swords for Sag. K okay, four of Pentacles and the, mag the Magician Reverse. There is something that you're still, you know, I feel mentally and physically trying to hold on to. But you feel as if it's, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can fix it. Okay, or you just can't get the strength to fix anything about it. There's something that just makes you feel weak with a connection or a person here. That you're still holding on to. It could be you're also stressing about your money. And you're holding on to your money. But you feel as if you know, you're know, you not working hard enough. or It's kind of like something's out of your control almost. Like maybe your money. You feel like it's slipping out of your hands. And you're worried about it. Or I feel there's definitely something to do with money here. Like you feel like you're not stable when it comes to your money. You're not really maybe working hard enough right now. And you're trying to hold on to something. But it's just a lot of worry. And feeling stuck. Okay, let's see what signs you guys could be currently dealing with. Okay, so the moon sign. Could, oh, could be fire. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, and Aries. And then we got Cancer on the bottom. It could be their sign, their moon sign, or their sun sign. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's to come for you guys. So let's see what's to come in the near future for you guys. And this could be anywhere from this week to this coming week to like next week. So just take what resonates. I'm just going to do like a general weekly reading. See kind of currently what's going on. Okay, we do have the Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Cups reverse. Okay, I do feel like there's something new that's being established here. Something that you're not wanting to emotionally detach from or walk away from because you see like it has potential. But you guys haven't really grown anything yet. Okay, the sense of this is starting new. Okay, there's not much invested into this yet. But you feel as if it could be very stable. Okay? And I feel like you're not wanting to emotionally detach. You're wanting to hold on to this. Okay? But it's something that's starting from the bottom here. Okay, like you're starting from the bottom with this connection or something here. But I feel like you see potential in it. So let's get the Four of Wands. Okay, the world. Yeah, so you see new beginnings, new cycles. And the chair, you see forward movement. Could be on the cancer here, but um, or a fixed sign. But you see potential with this connection. You feel like it has potential to move forward. You guys can move forward and be happy and have success and start this new beginning. So I definitely feel like this is new, okay? This is something that is slowly developing, okay? The Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is new. This is something that you're starting to grow here. With the hair fit reverse. Yeah, I feel like... Maybe you were having commitment issues. Could be the Taurus here, but you guys were kind of having commitment issues, and this person came in and wanted to offer you something. Maybe you were scared of a relationship. Okay, but I feel like you guys are going to grow something here. Okay, and I got the Six of Pentacles. This person's willing to give to you. Let's get the Eight of Cups reverse. Okay, the Six of Swords reverse, and the Six of Wands reverse. But there is something that you're still kind of having a hard time walking away from. Okay, so there's maybe past things in the past that you're having a hard time walking away from, things that were unsuccessful, that you're still kind of holding on to emotionally. Okay, so just be curious of, or just be on the lookout of that, because I do feel like it had to do with something from your, you're having kind of a hard time with commitment, like you're wanting commitment with this person and wanting to move forward, but you're still kind of dealing with past situations that you're having a hard time releasing, so make sure you guys don't jeopardize it. Okay, with the Four of Cups. So you could come off to this person like you know you got everything going for you but you're kind of almost like scared to you know come into this relationship because of past situations that you're having a hard time walking away from so let's go ahead and see okay so let's see a person let's see here or actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do actually all yeah 
all 12 signs this coming week, like how their energy is going to be towards you. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to do all signs, like how their energy is going to be towards you this coming week. Let me go ahead and put the cards in order. Yeah, I'm going to do like how, you know, they're going to be towards you this coming week. How everybody's going to kind of act. Okay. Okay, so if you guys are doing an Aries. Okay, so Aries. I'm going to go ahead and actually time stamp it so you guys can watch for your sign. The sign of a person you're dealing with. Okay, so if you're dealing with Aries, let's see how they're going to act towards you. I know you guys like me doing this, like all 12 signs for you guys, so I'm going to do it. I like doing it too because I like being a little nosy. Then I know kind of who to watch out for for the week. Like who's going to be pissed, who's going to be, you know. Alright, so we're doing Aries. we got the Fool here. Knight of Wands, Reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. This person is serious. This person wants a new beginning, and they don't want to play games. Okay, they want success here. They don't want to be inconsistent out of your life. Okay, they're not, I feel this person's not using you for sex or anything. They actually want growth. Okay, so if you're doing Aries, this person actually wants something here. They want potential. So let me clarify the full here. Okay, Queen of Wands reversed and the Emperor. Yeah, this person wants to take action, but I don't really know if you're attracted to this person. I don't even know if you like them, to be honest. Like, this person wants to offer you something, and they're really, like, putting... Maybe they're coming off too strong because they're coming off very determined. Okay, we got the Six of Swords, and you're kind of like... I don't really know if you, like, want this. You might just be kind of avoiding this person or walking away from them. They could be trying to, like, come towards you, and you're just kind of ignoring them. All right, this is the Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, Empress reversed and the Strength reversed. So I feel like you don't want to hold back from this person, but there's a sense of you're kind of focusing on loving yourself or not putting any, like, work into this, like, any love into this. All right, let's get the Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to offer you love, but I feel like you don't want to work on it. With the devil in reverse, you could feel as if this person is overcoming, you know, like you're trying to overcome toxic situations and you feel like this person might be toxic or they, they're they giving you kind of toxic vibes and you're kind of wanting to avoid it. But this person wants to offer you love. So maybe a date or something, something very long term here, but I feel like you're not wanting this. Okay, like Satch, I feel like this person, like you're not really interested, okay? And that's just how it goes, I mean can't always be into everybody okay so Taurus let's go ahead and start with so if you're done with the Taurus okay so if you're done with the Taurus how are they going to be this week to you okay nine of swords reverse nine of wands reverse and the five of pentacles this person i feel like isn't going to speak to you much but they feel like they can trust you but there's a sense of them kind of you almost feel like you're being ghosted by this person and there's not much communication but it's kind of sad because i feel like you can trust this person too there's a there's a sense of being able to trust them this week like the, you trust them but there's a sense of them not really talking to you or feeling like they're just like ghosting you or ignoring you so let's get the knight of swords reversed the eight of swords reversed and the four of pentacles reverse. I feel like this person, they don't want to get stuck in their head about you, so they're kind of like letting you go. Or like slowly kind of drifting away from you. With the nine of wands reverse, three of cups reverse, and the nine of wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like, the sad thing is I feel like you could trust this person, but this person's not really coming in wanting to like see you or make, put any work into this. Or any like passion. You almost feel like you're ghosted by this person with the five of pentacles. Okay, then I got the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups reverse. Okay, this per I feel like this person is making you feel like they're not really offering something to you, but you're wanting a new love with them. Okay, you're wanting something to grow here. You have a lot of love for this person or a lot of feelings. But this person's I feel like they're not really putting much effort in this week, and they're almost making you feel like, you, you know, you got to put in the work. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Swords. It's like they're breaking your heart because you're wanting to love them and put a lot of love into this, and they're just not really putting a lot into it okay so this week you could feel like you're ghosted by this person 
Okay, if you're dealing with Gemini. Okay, so if you guys are dealing with Gemini, let's see. Oh, wrong deck. So let's see how they could be acting this week towards you. So if you guys are dealing with Gemini, let's see what's going on. Okay, two of Pentacles reverse, the hangman reverse, and the two of cups. Okay, so I feel like you're dropping something because there's a soulmate connection with this person. Okay, I feel like you see it more clearly. You're wanting to drop some somebody else for this person. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with two people and you realize you want to drop, or they feel this way about you. You guys definitely feel this way about each other, the two of cups, but somebody's wanting to drop somebody else. Two of Pentacles, High Priestess. Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you feel like the right thing to do with this Gemini is to have something stable. And you trust your intuition that this is what your heart's telling you is that you need to be with this person. Okay, or you feel success and happiness. We've got Page of Swords reversed. So there's maybe not much communication right now between you guys. But you realize you need to drop something so you can have happiness. Let's get the Hangman reverse. King of Wands reverse and the Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, you could have, like, maybe not been seeing this person for a while, and you're trying to get out of your head about a situation, and you see more clearly that maybe you haven't been putting a lot. You see the perspective that you haven't been putting a lot into this connection. But, but you know, you're wanting to maybe focus on working on it with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? Two of Cups. I feel like you both have, like, a strong connection with each other. Okay? Five of Cups reverse and the Nine of Cups reverse, though. So. But there's a sense of this not feeling like this is good enough, okay? Like you have, it's weird. You just have this strong connection, but you almost feel like you're not fulfilled and there's a lot of these things like you need to move on from. But you still have this strong connection from this person. This is kind of weird. Because it's like you feel like this strong connection, but you don't really know if you should work on it. So maybe you guys are kind of like in your head, trying to release getting like out of your head about somebody. All right, if you guys are dealing with cancer, so the Gemini one was kind of weird. All right, let's see if you're dealing with the cancer side, what's going on this current week, with or this coming week with them. If you're dealing with the cancer. Okay, Knight of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Swords reverse, and the Five of Swords reverse. You're trying to this heal from this person and not invest into this anymore because you realize that there's a lot of just mental conflict, a lot of things coming together that just weren't true, okay? Like, you're finding out a lot of, you know, untruths about this person. Or not untruths, but a lot of things they hid from you, a lot of lies. Okay, this person lied to you, and I feel like you found out, and you're trying to just walk I away. Didn't do this! Huh? I didn't do that! Okay, stop fussing, Brayden. Get on my nerves. Hold on, guys. Here! Here! Why? I, I don't know. Here. Why just, I'm trying to finish it? this, Brayden. I didn't do that! I don't know. It's been getting on my nerves. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just like so fussy. I don't know what is going on. He went to bed at like 10 o'clock. Alright, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Ace of Swords reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you don't want anything with this person anymore. This cancer. I don't know why I got so angry when I did this. You're trying to heal from this person. You don't want to invest into this. You don't want to even speak to them. You don't want to talk to them. Knight of Cups. Okay, so it's like you're wanting to be emotionally happy with yourself. Trying to find self-love. Let's get the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you're trying to heal. The Yeah, the Four of Swords. You're trying to rest here. Knight of Cups reverse. You don't want to give to this anymore. Okay, Five of Swords reverse. Okay, Page of Wands. Judgment. Okay. So you feel as if maybe the timing... Ugh, Sag, why? Okay. With this cancer, you're trying to take just a break. You realize you need to heal and not invest into this. But now, you're kind of wondering, okay, like I healed. Maybe I should just give to them a little bit more. Maybe we're meant to be faded together. This is my person. No, they're not. Okay, I feel like you're not wanting to talk to them. You act like you hate their guts. You want to heal from them. Worst person ever. Don't want to invest into this. And then there's a part of you, a little tiny part, that's like, okay, maybe we should reconcile and I should give to this again. Maybe I should just you know, be with them, you know, intimately. This is my person. No. I, I just got mad because, no, don't. Because I feel like cause I've been doing a lot of cancer readings for you guys, a lot of cancer in your energy. Just don't do it. Okay, there's a part of you like, oh, we're faded together. We're meant to be. And this is all. They're, they've changed. No, they haven't. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Leo before I get mad. <laughs> all right, Leo. So if you guys are doing the Leo this week, 
So if you guys are doing a Leo. Okay, King of Pentacles. Ugh, King of Wands Reverse. Five of Wands Reverse. So there's a sense of this person coming in wanting to offer you something stable, but I'm not really sure if you feel passionate about them. And you just don't want the conflict. There's something about not wanting conflict here. So, King of Pentacles. Okay, the Strength and the Ace of Wands. I feel like you are holding back, but you are wanting to maybe invest into this. Or this person wants to invest something into you. It could be something very intimate with you. But I'm not really sure if you feel that way about them. Okay, because yeah, we've got the hey man here, so you're kind of stuck. Let's get the King of Wands reversed. I don't really know if you're going to come in and give it to him. Let's see. The hair fins and the three Mommy, of pentacles reverse. What? Okay, I'll just please. All right, so we got the hair fin, three of pentacles reverse. Yeah, I know. I dropped it. Anyways, we got the hair fin here. I feel like this person wants maybe um, a commitment with you, but you're not really wanting to work on this. Mommy, can you my I, Brayden, man. I mean, by this time, I'm not even going to be able to finish this video. I don't know why it's it's not on. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the internet's out. Just, we'll fix it in a minute. Just here. Here. I, I want to finish. Out? I don't know. Just here. I'm getting aggravated. I just talk, man. All right. Five of wands reversed. With the ten of cups and the nine of wands reversed. Or seven of wands reversed. Okay, so there's a sense of, like, maybe you feel like you could have some kind of commitment here. Like, happiness with this person. And I feel like you're not blocking this, but you just don't want any conflict. Okay, I feel like you kind of do want commitment, but there's a sense of not really wanting to work on this. I was kind of confusing with this Leo. I feel like there is a chance of having something here, like full potential, maybe a marriage commitment. Alright, but... Okay, let's go ahead and do... So if you're doing the Virgo, I'm like losing my train of thought. So I feel like I have limited time at this point to film. Alright... So let's go ahead and do Virgo. If you guys are doing the Virgo this week, right and the internet went back on. I don't know why it shut off for a second. We have crappy internet. Yeah, so if you guys are doing the Virgo. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords reversed. I feel like you, you're putting a lot of work into this, but something's about to change. Like, you're about to get mad and not talk to this person. Like, maybe... Either this person's doing this to you or you're doing that to them. Like, you're just going to maybe stop talking to them out of the blue. Like, you've worked on this a lot with this person, but you're starting to get kind of angry, so you're just going to, like, not talk to them anymore. Or be mad at them about something. Like, something changed here where you're kind of mad. So, let's get the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords reverse. You feel like you're putting a lot of work into this, and you just don't want to be upset about this connection anymore. And there's just a lot of pain that comes with this. Okay. Like, this is just a very hurtful... And this person's maybe, like, breaking your heart because you invested so much into something. With the tower, we have the knight of pentacles reversed and the two of pentacles. Okay, maybe you found out that they're juggling you with somebody else or just a sense that they're not really putting a lot of work into this and it's not as, you know, stable and long-term as you thought it was going to be. Okay, queen of swords reversed. Queen of cups reversed and the hangman reversed. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to be emotionally like detached from this person and you like don't want to talk to them maybe it's just temporary but i feel like you feel like you the right thing to do right now is to get yourself unstuck and to not really invest into this person emotionally okay maybe you found out secrets this this coming week about this virgo that they're lying to you or hiding something from you okay if you guys are dealing with the libra so if you guys are doing the libra this coming week let's see Okay, the star, the hair fin, knight of swords reversed. Okay, I feel like this, um, whatever you were wanting with this person, I feel like it is going to happen. Ooh, we got the hair fin twice, ace of swords reversed. So, um, yeah, so the hair fin, the star, so you're wanting, like, commitment with this person. I feel like it is going to happen, but you guys haven't really had much communication. Okay, or you're not getting much communication from this person, but you're, or maybe you're not talking to this person much this week. There's a sense of, you know, your dreams are coming true with this commitment with this person. Mommy! What? Can I get 
Can you snack? Yeah, sure. Star here. Okay, Eight of Wands reverse and the Two of Cups reverse. I'm trying to figure out like... Okay, so with the star here, I feel like you're wanting things, like you're hoping things kind of get better between you guys because maybe there's a disconnect with your guys' energy right now. Because I do got the Knight of Swords reversed, so maybe there's not much communication or disconnect Aww. with you guys, okay? You guys are at a distance, and you're hoping for, like, commitment. Okay, with the Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles, okay? The World Reverse, yeah, I feel like you want a new... You guys want to still deal with this person and have them in your life, but you want a fresh start, something new that's actually stable and you can work on. Okay, with the Knight of Swords reverse, we got the Six of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is somebody from your past that you have a lot of feelings for that you want a full commitment with. Okay, but you guys haven't had much communication or you guys haven't been talking much. There's a, just a disconnect or not much, you know, going on with you guys. Okay, but I feel like it's somebody from your past that you didn't want to close anything with. And, you know, you're hoping for this this week. Okay, wh what do you need, Brayden? Hold on. What do you need? I just want to finish this. I'm not trying to yell, but I just want to finish this damn video. Man. Here, just... What's with every time I do a Sagittarius video, I'm having to get him food. Here, I just fed you. Here. I'm like, starting to get angry. And I, I don't want to do this to you guys. I don't want to look like I'm pissed in every video, but I'm getting, like, really fed up. Okay, Scorpio. It doesn't take much to make me mad. Okay, so if you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, this kid likes to push my buttons. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I didn't, okay. If you guys are dealing with a Scorpio this week, let's see what's going on. Why does my kid like to push my buttons? I, like, he's not happy until I'm, like, completely pissed off. And I wanted to get a couple videos done. Alright, let's see if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, the Empress Reverse, Judgment Reverse, Nine of Swords. This person's giving you a lot of anxiety this week. Okay, because you feel as if things are kind of, you know, time is running out and you don't really know if you should invest into this person anymore. Okay, but you're getting kind of stressed out. Maybe you feel like there's no growth with this person either. Things aren't really going anywhere. So let's go ahead and do the Empress Reverse. All right, the sun and the death. So you're wanting, you feel as if that this isn't going anywhere, that there's some kind of ending going on with this, okay? That you need to find your happiness and maybe not invest into this person anymore. Maybe put the love into yourself or the happiness into yourself. But the judgment reverse, eight of pentacles and the five of pentacles reverse. I feel as if you're still wanting to put the time into this and the effort and you're not wanting to walk away, but it's like you feel like time is running out. Or you've just invested too much time and it's like for what? Because you feel like, you know, there's a lot of distress and worry in this. Alright, the Nine of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse. You feel as if soon, like, there's a lot of fears that this isn't going to go anywhere. And that it's not going to ever... Maybe it's someone you're recently seen, but you feel as if there's... They're maybe losing interest in you and there's not really a, a, anything growing from this. Like, you guys can't start anything here. Okay. So if you're dealing with Scorpio, it's like you're trying to have happiness and find happiness in this situation, but you're kind of having a hard time. There's a lot of just stress here. All right, so if you guys are dealing with another Sagittarius, oh, I didn't even grab the card. Okay, if you guys are dealing with another Sagittarius. Okay, death reverse, hangman here, and the nine of wands. There's still something you're not wanting to end with this person. There's something still going on that you haven't fully accepted. I feel like you're stuck and not sure what to do. Okay, you're, you're kind of closed off. You're not wanting to open up here. But there's a sense of just not knowing what's the right thing to do. You're very stuck. Okay, here. Okay, you're moving my cards. You're not going off the table. All right, let's get the death. Yeah. Get the death reverse. Okay, Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups reverse. I feel like you're wanting a new beginning or a new passion to ignite here. And you're not wanting this rejection, but there's still something that you're not wanting to end. Dude, I feel like you don't want to end this with this person. You want things to change, though. All right, Hangman here. Magician and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you do want something to slow. 
you're kind of stuck because you feel like, you know, you're putting in all the work, but there's like slow movement and not much coming to this. Or it's taking a long time for something to develop. All right, nine of wands, four of wands reverse, and the nine of swords. You feel like scared as if, you know, like you're worrying like this is never, you're never going to get this full commitment with this person. You feel like it's just taking too long and you're almost just, feel like it's just never going to happen. Like you're investing a lot into this. Maybe you're having a lot of intimate relations with this person and you feel like maybe they're just using you for that and it's not, they're just taking too long. Okay, you feel like it's in this person's power maybe to try to put this together and, or you've invested a lot or manifested this person and you feel like it's just not coming together. Okay, you feel like you're never going to have this commitment with this person and it stresses you out. Because maybe this is the only person you want to be with, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and get, if you're dealing with a Capricorn. So Sag, this week, if you, or this coming week, if you're dealing with this Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Okay, strength reverse, six of wands, page of wands reverse. I feel like you're trying to overcome something to have success. You're wanting to not hold on to something anymore. Or not hold, you're not wanting to hold back anymore. You're wanting to express something here. And I feel like there's a sense of just not really wanting to focus on this anymore. With this person, you're wanting to have victory with maybe yourself or be seen by other people. Okay, so yeah, you got the fool here. So I feel like you want new beginnings. Maybe with this person, or you just want something new. With the King of Wands. Okay, it could be that you're wanting something more serious here with this person. Okay, you're wanting this to get maybe more committed. Some new beginning with this person. You're not holding back anymore. How do you feel? Okay, Six of Wands. Eight of Wands reverse, and the Two of Cups reverse. So you feel like you want this to be successful, but there's a disconnect. Or there's not much communication or disconnecting your energy with this person. All right, let's get the Page of Wands reversed. Okay, Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I feel like you want to talk to this person because you feel like this person's not offering you anything. And you're going to have really direct, fast communication because I feel like there's not much communication with you and this person. There's almost a disconnect. And you're wanting maybe to fix things or take this to another level and restart, have a new beginning with this person. Okay. You guys are dealing with Aquarius. Okay, if you guys are doing an Aquarius this coming week, let's see what's going on, what's in their energy, what's in yours with them. Okay, Six of Cups, Eight of Swords, Reverse, Eight of Cups. So someone from your past here, someone that you've had, that you're trying to, I feel like you're trying to release this person and walk away. Okay, it's somebody from your past. Or someone you've known for a long time. Someone you have a lot of history with. But I feel like you're trying to get out of your head about them. And you're wanting to walk away emotionally. Emotionally detached. So let's do the Six of Cups. I don't know. The World in Reverse and the Queen of Wands. This is something that hasn't really finished out. Because you still have a lot of, you know, attraction to this person. Okay, someone you have a lot of past history. I feel like you guys have a lot of, you know, um, attraction here with this person. And it's like you guys haven't finished something with them. You guys haven't... Close off this cycle. Come in someone you kept going back and forth to a lot. Eight of Swords reversed. Judgment reversed. And the Wheel of Fortune. It's like you feel as if time's running out and you need new things to happen. So you need to kind of release all this stress. Okay? Or release being like stuck in your head about this person. Alright? Eight of Cups. Knight of Wands. And Page of Cups reversed. So there's a sense of... I feel like you still kind of want this person deep down, but you're not really wanting to invest into this emotionally. I feel like this is maybe like a sex-based thing or something of that nature. Like maybe you still feel very attracted to this person, but you're having a hard time walking away. But it's like you're trying to emotionally detach though. Okay, I feel like you're not trying to put your emotions into it. You're just kind of wanting... Ooh. I feel like you're just wanting like physical stuff with this person. Okay? And you're trying to emotionally detach and not be emotionally invested. I feel like you haven't, like, closed off this cycle with this person. Okay, if you guys are dealing with the Pisces this coming week.
Ace of Cups reverse, Strength, and the Nine of Swords reverse. I feel like you're not going to let this person in emotionally. You're holding back on this. Okay? Because you just don't want to have any stress in, in regards to this situation. Justice came out in reverse. Yeah, there's just a lot of, like, things going on with you in this Pisces here. Like, you're just feeling like things aren't fair. So with the King of Cups, because you have a lot of feelings for them, but you feel like, you know, it's just this isn't really, you know, give and take. This relationship isn't equal. There's a lot of feelings here, but you're trying to hold back your emotions with the Nine of Cups reverse and the Page of Wands reverse. You know, I feel like you're trying to hold back. You're not wanting to invest into this emotionally, and you're not wanting to, like, start anything physically with this person either. Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, yeah, the Eight of Swords reverse and the Nine, the nine of Wands reverse. So it's like you're wanting to get out of your head about the situation and open up. But you don't want any stress that comes with this. You could be opening up talking to this person. But I don't feel like you're going to really do much, okay? Alright guys, that was your guys' reading. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.